it's Nicholas Mag. Yes, another video for you tonight because I've got to go to bed in a minute. Early to work. Right, okay, so your kids are interested in programming. They've been to school. They might have started using Scratch. They might be using Expresso. Yeah, okay. I'm not too fond of it. Better off with Scratch Junior, really, at the end of the day. But hey, that's what a lot of schools are doing because they pay for it and they think paying for things you have to do. And you don't, actually. So anyway, your kids have been using Scratch or you've got a classroom, one thing or the other, and you want to go into something a bit different, a bit more engaging, a bit more code-like. And Python is an easy language for this. And you can do plenty of ways for free. Okay, yeah, for free. And I'm going to give you a quick show of one tonight, okay? So I'll go to my other window. And I'm going to make that full screen, okay? Now, this is Trinket. Trinket is an online program. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to sign in if you don't want to. But obviously, if you do join, you can save all your projects, etc., etc., etc. Now, this one run through here is called an hour of code. And it's something that's free. And you can go through your students. And whether it will take an hour or not is all dependent on their age, okay? So tomorrow I've got some younger kids that will be doing this. And basically, it's Python. But in Trinket, everything is there already for you. It's already done for you, okay? You haven't got to import anything. This is great. So anyway, if you go through the code here, most of you should know what this means. I mean, look, turtle pen up. So your pen's up, okay? Turtle colour size X and Y. Hello, look at it. Color, size, X and Y. So if we go down to here, color, green, size, 50, X, 25, Y, 0. Okay. And what this does is encourages the kids to play around with the code. They haven't got to write it out completely all on their own. Okay. Trust me, this is an easy way of doing it. I've learned this from experience. Trust me. Okay. You get an awful lot done. And they are, tend to understand more if you do it this way. So what they're encouraged to do here is run the program. Okay, So we're going to run it. And the turtle draws three circles. Now what you want them to do here is change things so they can change the colour. Okay, Or the size. So in the blue circle, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change that to 70. Okay, Now I know what it's going to do. Do you know what it's going to do? Let's run it. Okay, So the blue circle gets bigger. And these are the X and Ys. So you get size, X and Y axis. Simple as skimples. You can even change the text. And what you've got to do is encourage them to do this and play around with it. So if you show them to, this to them, say, at home, so you've got a couple of kids at home, this is going to be quite fun for them to do. Because it's quite easy. It's a step up from scratch, really, isn't it? Because instead of getting the blocks, we have proper, proper text. But it's quite simple. So I'll go through a couple of lines with you. Turtle pen up, colour, turtle fill colour, go to X and Y, begin to fill, pen down, draw a circle, pen up, end fill, pen down. Hmm. Quite simply, you could do this in blocks if you wanted to, but this way, now they're getting older, the kiddies, it teaches them to do things differently, and this is what we want them to do. We can't use Scratch forever. It would be really nice to, but it's just, just not the way it goes, is it? So this would be the, f the first part of the lesson. And in theory, you should be able to get all this done. If they do things wrong, all you have to do is click here, reset the screen, yes, I'm sure, and it'll go back to the start, see? No fuffing around. So after you've done that for five minutes and they've had a bit of fun and they've drawn big circles, little circles, changed the colours, etc., etc., and they may find they put a colour in and it's not spelt incorrectly, but the colour is just not in this part. So the next lesson would be meet Tina. Okay. There you go. Very, very simple. So run the code, watch. Hello there. Moves along and writes it. Now you're encouraged to make them do this differently. Yeah? You know where I'm saying from. Yeah, of course you do. Really, really, really easy. And you should be able to get through all this if you've got secondary school kids and they're say eleven upwards, eleven to fourteen, this would be an hour, no problem. Forty five minutes. Younger kids may take a little bit longer, especially if they're not comfortable with text, okay? You know what kids are like. Yeah, of course you do. But yeah, trinket. Go and give it a cut. try. Let your children try it at home, or if you've never done it before, you give it a try. You're going to have a good fun, I tell you. Good fun. And this is why I like to use it, okay? So we'll come out of that now. There we go. That'll do. Let's try now. That's 11, really, didn't I? Okay. 
Anyway, that's all I'm going to do tonight. So, go and get it. Go and give it a go. Don't have to download it. It's Skimples. Sneaky looks out. I see those. Bye-bye.